Welcome back, guys, to Paper Mario Color Splash as Kamek has attacked us with a Goomba being sucked up the pipe behind us. It seems something is going on. Now what? As villains start to show their faces. Ah, oh, Mario, I didn't expect to see you here. I'd love to stick around and sweep the floor with you, but I've got places to be. Lives to ruin. You know how it is for us bigwigs. But I suppose I could leave you with a little taste of my Koopa magics. What is your Koopa magics? What are you doing? Basically, Kami, Kamek, whatever you want to call him, has now appeared on my bottom screen and is now using Koopa magics. Time for my Koopa magics! <laughs> And what it's done is it's broken just part of my screen. The button that allows me to run away. That guy will avenge his family, by the way. So nothing really happened apart from... Oh, apart from that, he changed all my cards, and I probably don't know which one's which, into worn-out jump cards. That's, that could be quite nasty if it makes me use good cards by accident. So let's move more middle of the packish. That's a nasty uh, strategy he's employing. Let's just paint them to full and take two out. Evil Kamek. I don't like your magics. I did have them, my cards sorted though, roughly. Which means the good ones are on the far left. Let's not use them when I don't need to. I'll just use full paint for now because we are doing well. And pick up those extra coins from excellence. And we got ourselves an extra 300 coins for winning. I don't know what cards I used unless I just use warm hammers because that's the what was supplied for me. My weight is looking fine. That's why we're dropping down here. Because we did see a little door. And what is this? Okay, I can stop them one by one, can I? Okay, we've got ourselves a yellow door. What will that give us? Okay, pick a pipe, get a prize. Mario will always turn when he reaches a sideways pipe. I think I'm choosing this one. If I want the reward with the plunger in it, that is. That's quite a nice pick. Right, plunger up, go hammer, line jump, jump, and spike helmets. Now what happens? We just leave the room and now it's complete. So basically my red and blue doors might actually give something else. But we found a minigame place and we found ourselves a replica plunger. So now we can go and use that in battle and see what that does. Because they seem to be like summons with summon animations. Saying that though, we did come up right next to it again here, so maybe it is just the one game. Because it literally introduced us to it again a second later. I bet there's a hidden block here. Uh -huh. Lucky I didn't put a wager or anything, eh? Alright, so this side looks like one star, the other side looks like another star. One of the stars has the sage next to it though. So if I take this side first, just because I think it gets me to the dead end. I'm dodging, honest. Taking all these cards though. All these lovely hearts. Cards, cards, cards. Dodging these guys with the greatest of ease. Let's go to this side first, then. To 
towards the yellow star. If we can even get it, that is. You were getting a bit too followy, so I'll jump on you. Just you? Just one? You're kidding me. You're absolutely kidding me. I'm quite fine with this result. Usually it's loads of you guys. Now we're halfway through another hammer gauge-ish. Let's paint this and see what happens. Okay, something for an unfill block. Oh, there's an unfill mark here. Yes, there is. Thank you much, Mr. Speaks, obviously. Though that's not a real sage either. That is definitely an actually fake thing. An enemy in the pipe? Well, okay, I'll challenge you. In the darkness. I think that's enough to deal with you after all. As long as I get the second jump anyway, I think. Get out of there. At least we have enough cards now to get the nice stuff. It seems to me not only do we need to use the unfurl on that side, but we can also climb along the pipe this way. Ah. I turn sideways. I think that would be handy right now. Painting red doesn't work either. Let's go for the unfurl mark spot, eh? Do I even have the time? Just about. Ish. Maybe. Yes. Unfurl! And take me over to the fake. I'm not sure I believe you're real. Oh, oh where am I? You? I'm the Mountain Sage of Daffodil Peak. Why are you stuck there? Why are you on a strut? I'm confused. No, oh. aha, just playing. Okay, okay. We're cool. Nothing's ambushing us, which is nice. I'm just a regular old toad. Sorry to get your hopes up. Paid all that money for a permit and then busted my shroom all the way up here for nothing. And on the bright side, I did get to see one of those mini pink star things. Yeah, it's right there. You can't beat the view from up here. Anyway, happy trails. So there is no mountain sage. Shenanigans, we've been had. Mario, right, let's go give the gatekeeper a piece of our mind. After we grab the mini paint star, of course. I think we should, actually. He might lead us another way to get up. Only your schnoz fits through, Mario. He's been chucked off. No one likes him. Let's get ourselves a paint star. Let's go talk to the gatekeeper, then. Find out what's going on. If he's a sage, he might have mysterious power. So that opens up a path between them. Looks like we're coming to the end of the stages we can get to on this side. Let's go back in then and speak to Mr. Guy. Ask him what's going on with this. Shenanigans! Let's go to Daffodil Peak and give that Lion Gatekeeper a piece of our mind! Something tells me he's probably the Sage. Hey, Lyreface, there is no man in Sage. You just made it up to sell tickets to your boring mountain. Whoa, whoa, keep your lid on. Man, Sage isn't real. I'm as disappointed as you are. What, you thought he was real too? Yes, I believe in my heart of hearts that the mountain Sage was real. Oh, I can't remember why I was so convinced. And the thing that I can't remember anything before except in this gatekeeper job. The last thing I remember is the park ranger bringing me here after finding me stranded on the mountaintop. 
It was the ranger who said the mountain stage was real. Do you think he lied to us? Hold on a minute, I didn't lie to anyone. There's a mountain stage here. I've seen it with my own eyes. Really? Because we hiked all the way up to the peak and all we found was some cheesy carnival cutout. Hey, kids love that cutout. Look, I haven't seen the sage in a while, but he used to train on the mountaintop. You've got to believe me. If rumors get out that I made up the mountain sage thing, my business is done for. Hmm, I don't know. I think both of these guys are telling the truth, Mario. I'm online, swear on my spores. Now let's just keep this quiet and try to find the mountain sage. I think he might be right there. I wonder what happened to the mountain sage. My mind's a complete blank. I've got no idea. I'll sort that for you. Eureka! I remember everything! The colour missing from my head must have damaged my memory. I am one of the chosen toes, the divine few imbued with great power. I spend my days training on the mountaintop, waiting for my destiny to take shape. You train on the mountaintop? So that means... Yes, it does. Yes, I am the sage of the mountain. Great! So there really is a mountain sage! But you lost your memory? Are you still able to use the power of the chosen toads? Good question, young one. Behold the power of the Chosen! Okay then. You destroyed a mountain, why? Well, everyone seems happy about it. Usually we Chosen Toads aren't meant to use our power for such savagery, but I have some aggression to work out today. I must have snuck up and drained my head while I was meditating, the miscreants! Well, colour me impressed. Remind me to stay on your good side. Hey, do you know anything about the big paint stars? We're looking for them. The world is vast, young one, and I am but a toad. I see no such paint stars, but it is a chosen toad's duty to serve those in need. Our paths are crossed for a reason, there's no doubt about that. Perhaps I'm the key to unlocking your true potential. No, it turns out that I'm just the key to unlocking some random door. Well, okay, I guess. I'll meet you at the Crimson Tower, young one. Oh man, now I have to find a new gatekeeper. Well, I guess I've been demoted. Thanks a ton, Mountain Sage. Okay then. Welcome to Daffodil Peak, former home of the Mountain Sage who ruined my life. I can go in whenever I want then, but I guess I can't make it to that other bit of the door yet without maybe having the power to turn sideways. Unless there was a point I could have cut out up there. That's a possibility too, of course. So shall we climb it as fast as we can with avoiding as much enemies as possible? I mean, after all, we don't have to get all these items, but there are some free ones hanging around. And free coins. I don't mind getting more cards and stuff. I don't think I'll probably have to unfurl anything again, so... Well, that's useless. He's completely stuck behind there. He can stop me if he wanted me to. It's just like, nope. Can't do a thing. So those are free items. Now let's see if we can sort a solution for our secondary... Oh, we can go back in there again. Should we try the theory of secondary door colour, secondary thing? There's a guest door as well, that'd be interesting. Nope, got the last one wrong. There we go, so there's a red door. There's a question mark as well. Aha, so there's more mini games. Block stopper, hit the spinning blocks to stop them. Match three of the same icons to get a fancy prize. Okay, we're going for hearts, are we? Well, I'm obviously not gonna get it this time. Oh, you still got some stuff though. So match three to get a really good one, by the sound of it. And then match... And then what? You just get basically whatever you get out anyway. 
We're learning, even though we're backtracking uh, in a possibly not working fashion. Everything is working. Now that's a different way through though, so I will do that. I think we need all the paint stars we can get after all. Did I hit? Oh, come on, I hit you. One hammering's all we need, one hammering will do. Just give me your goodies and I will be on my way to another paint star, probably. Oh. I'm thinking, do I want to go through the pipe? Where would the pipe lead me to? Okay, there's some more stuff. So the paint star's not going to be hard to get all the same. We've got it, we've earned it. We're clearing as much as we can. We get the line jump and also this big splodge to fill up. Another one up mushroom, nice! And most importantly, another course clear. Paint stars are ours. I'll never ever worry about paint at this rate. So that's actually opened up another path through. And something else has appeared in L? Ah no, colours of spots restored, 100%. Right, so they've been 100%ed, nice. So blue is fully cleared, yellow is half done. And red is not done at all by the look of it. So this is half done. That's interesting. Well, we've also got down here to check out the Sunglow Ridge. Well, that, that said though, I'm quite interested in seeing why this is only half done. So what else can be done at Roshambo Temple 1? Right, the second round opponent either punches or does no hand slap during fights. We know how those ones work. If you'd like to compete in the Roshama tournament, please head through the door. So is there like a g legit way to do it? And because we went through the back, we didn't maybe complete it fully? We've got to do it in between the things. Well, this is confusing. Yeah, let's go back into the tournament again. Skip what we can see and see what we can do. That makes no sense, does it? I mean, we completed quite a lot after all this episode in terms of getting paint stars. So we know you're for a rock in general. This is where it all goes badly. And he actually does something different. Only thing you can throw, we win that one. And of course we get ourselves a ton more coins for no reason. Bring on Shy Guy next. So this is the official tournament entrance. Right, both went paper. Now, knowing the information that he either throws rock or stone, uh, paper or stone, do we go paper again? Or will he throw scissors? Gotta figure out how to clear this place properly. Now he threw paper again. We are a double tie. You know you want to throw stone, because I'm going to throw scissors next. Essentially, you can guess what I try to do and play against me, because you can't see anything I'm choosing. There we go! We are the paper warriors. There's another 500 coins either way. But we just got to figure out how to clear this actual game. 
So I take it the third one can throw anything. So with that, we just hope focus on being lucky again. Or not so lucky. Koopa Trooper wins, kicks us out. What a meanie. How do I clear that? That's a real question. There's got to be a fully legit way to do it. Otherwise, if it remains yellow, is it done or not? Cool. Is it just a repeatable? Is there something else we can do? If I get you guys to tell me in the comments, please do. For now, I guess it's back to shop and then back on to another stage and another adventure starting fresh. Hopefully, we'll find ourselves... Wasn't it three purple guys we had to find? So one of them has left. And from that point, maybe we can go a little bit further into where we were in the first stage we went to. In the meantime, it's time for me to buy a ton of stuff. And there you can see on our menu what we've got to buy. So I'll see you next time for more Colour Splash. I'm going to be buying some basic cards. Bye-bye.